Avocado. Avocado. Literally, when Macron had his announcement, the next morning, like I was like waking up and my wife woke, woke me up. And the first thing she told me is like, you should, you should, you should buy weed. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. what, what what's happening? And I was like, yeah, man, country is going to, going to lock down. I know in a few days you're going to start crying and, and <laughs> <laughs> so get your shit together. Hey guys, how you doing? How you holding up? I'm your host Rodney and you're welcome to this impromptu episode of The Young God. It's impromptu because with all the coronavirus madness out there, I just remember that I have a friend based in Paris and uh, he would be perfect to give us a breakdown of what the hell is going on, you know, around the world. What's going on there? Because we know what's going on in Nigeria, but I don't know what's, you know, I don't know a first-hand experience of what the average Parisian is seeing. So I reached out to him, and he was gracious enough to come on the podcast. And uh, uh, he's a he's a rapper, video editor from Haiti, but he's based in Paris. And uh, he, funny enough, he was a guest on the podcast last season. He was the, the guest for the popular episode titled Finessing Fatherhood. You should go check it out. Amazing, amazing, sweet episode. And um, well, he's on here today talking about how his life is changing with the whole isolation, what Paris is looking like, sounding like these days. And, uh, you know, just catching up in general. We talked about his son, which we talked about in the last episode. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good one and I hope you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned. Hello. 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 My man, Mr. Kareem. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay, man. And you? It's good to have you back on the young girl. Third time's the charm, man. Third time's the charm. That's it. That's true. Third time. And uh, it just sucks that uh, this time we're here because of something entirely different from our other two episodes. We're here for Corona. Corona has brought us together, my brother. So what's good? What's, go- what's going on over there? What's, what's the situation in, in Paris? Well, right about now, Paris is very, very, very quiet. You know, I don't know if you yeah. can hear the birds. That's something that we usually cannot hear in, in uh, broad daylight oh, for, like that. For real? Yeah. And like, and not in the city like that. You know, it's a busy city, daytime, even on Sundays. I mean, now I'm only hearing birds. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, and some, a few cars. But yeah, today is very quiet. Today, and it's a Friday. You know, I don't know. I guess the afternoon is going to be maybe a little bit, like, a little bit busier, but it's it's just getting quieter and quieter. Mm. Yes. Has the, has, has the virus come close to you at all? Do you know anyone who's got it? Do you know anyone who's dealing with it right now? Uh, I don't know anybody, but, you know, from extension, extension, from work or or my... My wife has um, has people from her work also, but uh, not close. No, wow. not close. But uh, yeah, the, the situation is pretty. It's pretty. I wouldn't say intense, but it's uh, it's something something very different. So uh, did you uh, did, did you stock up on tissue paper? <laughs> um, not really. Not that much. We got two packs, but it's not. You know. We didn't rush to to on that. We didn't really rush at all. Let's say that we we managed to anticipate kind of. So we we started doing some shopping from the end of last week. You know, mm-hmm. just buying some not not a lot, but enough. You know, like a month grocery shops. You know, like a yeah. month of groceries kind of and uh and yeah like i took my my daughter so we're we're at home with uh with my daughter and my and my son who's now nine months 
mm. old. You know, he he's still one of the he's he's I think he's the happiest person I know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he's well, really, I, really living his best life, like for real, for real. <laughs> He doesn't know what's going on in the world. He couldn't care less what's going on in the world right now. Nah, he don't. He don't really care. I I guess somehow he's like more surrounded. So it's even you know since uh, since my older daughter is with us, since mm. so 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 you know I took her with with me so we could do the homeschool thing, which is something that is pretty new. Uh, yeah. Not not easy for anybody for her for us but i insisted because you know i wanted to make sure that you know we could we could follow up and be very very serious about it and her her mother is actually might work like in hospitals and stuff um so you know well uh elza hasn't stopped uh working she's working from home I will start working from home next week, mm. you know, um, yeah. and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new process, you know, we're just getting used to all these new processes and, you know, these new habits, you know, it's far more than being clean now. It's really, uh, stay at home and t- trying to find a discipline, trying to find a, uh, you know, just a way of living totally indoors. And how, how are you coping with, with the kids around, with work and having to do all those things together? Well, I mean, it's been, it's been really three days. To, well, well, like at, on day four, I would say, basically. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, and let's say that it's, uh, it's new, but where I, I mean, I'm pretty flexible, so I, I adapt. I just adapt and, you know, try to stay calm. That's one thing I'm pretty good at. So, so you know, just uh, taking things, each issue at a time. You know, next week is going to be homeworking, so it's going to be a, a real challenge. It's been mm-hmm. a challenge for my work, like technically, mm-hmm. To move, yeah. you know, video editing at everybody's place and journalist and everybody's working from home, and it's yeah. like in a, a web media. So basically, it's a, it's a, it's something that should not stop right now, since everybody's on their phones and looking for answers and have a lot of questions. So, so that was a huge challenge to to set up a. a uh, like home working workflow that was yeah. crazy i'm i'm looking at it from far because as i said i'm only starting next week like i have yeah. a week of work at, in this uh, in this enterprise so yeah. i mean it's a, I, I, it's a challenge for everybody but the the real challenge is for people that are in the hospitals and people that are uh, you know working nonetheless Did you get tested? You know, huh? Did you no, get tested? No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no reason for me to go like overflow some kind of structure just just to feel kind of safe because people's lives are, are in danger. So all the resources are going to the people that are really sick and might go into res- respiratory issues. And then what about that's when things like it gets worse. Yeah. What, what about things like rent, taxes, and bills? Uh, is the Paris government like doing anything to help uh, those who are not working right now? I I know for sure I will have to pay rent. I know for sure I will have to pay my bills. Yeah. That's why we definitely have to set up home working. That's like a kind of a priority for me because uh, the things are gonna, you don't want when the when the stuff when the stuff stops or when it gets better to be to to have like issues more issues <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. so i i i you got to stay eyes open and you know just keep everything in sight and the more you can try to anticipate and set up homeworking and new ways of of you know getting 
uh, the activity going, even though you're stuck at home. You know how they say, like, it's in times of, of, of disaster and, 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 you know, panic, when things are, like, so uncertain and being weird right now is when you're supposed to, like, even be more tuned in to yourself and to things so that you can, like, anticipate and, you know, move as, you know, mm. the, the, the situation needs. There, there, there are two things that are very new. Like, there's the, the kind of feeling that, okay, there's a, like, it's like the beginning of a movie of a, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't say horror, but it's like a beginning of a, of a movie, you know? And yeah. you, you feel like, okay, now is the time that I really got to stay close to the people I, I love or I cherish. I got to ask around to see who's okay, if everybody's okay. And, and you know, kind of trying to help each other out and, you know, in the most, you know, intimate way and the most, you know, empathic way. Uh, uh, but at the same time, this, I, I, this gives a kind of challenge and the, the timing is kind of crazy. I say the timing because um, mm. we're at the, we're at the point where a lot, a lot of stuff is, is, uh, can be done, uh, by distance, you know, uh, the, mm. the technology is, is like internet is, is, has become like so, so important and so, um, productive at, at, in some way that, that you, that a crisis like that, we just, at the, um, in a weird way, there there are like the infrastructure to kind of you know shift gears and work in a different type of way. Yeah, you know, because yeah, if yeah. this would have happened, you know, like ten, twenty years ago, like home working would be like you know just impossible. It would be very different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, it would be very very slow, and now you can actually kind of work in the same conditions that you are in the office because you yeah. know messaging and and transfer and and, and network editing like I, i'm talking yeah. about editing because that's what i do but but you know in many fields you know like i'm i'm thinking about i was thinking about the music side you know I, i'm mm -hmm. saying it's been two years that every like self producing artists I, I i i meet is telling me yo you should buy a microphone and and put it in your house you know and i never did it but now today <laughs> today i regret it because i could send my stuff to the producer I, he could this other one could send me beats and i could you know just keep the shit flowing and post and you know whatever i mean shooting videos obviously is not I mean, advised, but problem. you know, you can still shoot a video with one cameraman and stay a meter from him, and you know, do something. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But hey, it's it's uh, it's a pretty pretty interesting, also, you know, to see how people. Obviously, people are going to lose their minds too. Or already started to lose their minds, and it's it's gonna be a very crazy, you know, social sociological aspect to it. But at yeah. the same time, you know, and we we see good good things uh, around it, and you know, let's just try to have the best you know m way of life that that allows the the, the sick people just uh, the, the number of sick people to just go down because right now it's just you know yet yet last night it hit Haiti you know and mm. you know it's one of the you know, it's one of the places where you, in the back of your head, you're like, please don't let it hit there, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 you know, all countries, but, you know, now I, it's, I know it's in Nigeria also. I know it's, you know, it, yeah. I guess we're like in a, it's, it's been in most countries. So the, the panicking, you know, how, how, how we do sometimes, you know, with the panicking stuff, it's, it's going to get to get somehow crazy, but you know, you know, apart from apart from like the way life, you know, apart from the, the home working and all these other different changes, I think one of the the interesting things about this virus is the moral implications in terms of 
how we see each other and how we treat each other, you know? Mm. Like, like it's one of those diseases where, um, not even for yourself, like for others, like you have to like think of others like more than ever before, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, th- th- there was a story in South Korea where um, they, they had like limited the cases to 30, but then there was the 31st patient who failed to like pull a procedure, mm, right? Mm. And then she went to a buffet, she went to two parties and she had an accident and she had, she went to two hospitals. And then just from her, wow. the cases like tripled just from her. You mm, know what I mean? Mm, mm. Yeah. So it just let us, it just let me know that, man, you know, this is not something, this is like a different kind of disease where um, you might not be showing symptoms yet and still you could like fuck it up for everyone. Yeah, there's that invisible uh, factor that is very, you know, threatening and scary. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's it's in, in, like, usually it's between four or or eight days, usually, most people, but it can go up to 14 days. And it can mm-hmm. show up to the first or second day. But usually it's mm-hmm. between four or seven days. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. It's scary. You know, the, like, like most, like the Chinese did it. And first, you know, the, the only solution is to stay home and not move. So Mm. that's, that's what we're doing, you know, and, and I'm, I'm very concerned because you know how people, people here are, are, are more, let's say, more used to living inside and, and uh, kind of. So, so in a way, uh, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's, it's just doable, you know. And, and yeah. when you see some of neighbor, some of Paris neighborhoods, it took three to four days to really like calm down. And I'm not, I don't even think today's like, you know, when you're used to really, like I'm thinking about, you know, I've never been to Lagos, but from what I hear about Lagos, you know, uh, mm. and, and the descriptions and the pictures, you know that, you know, something like that will, will create mayhem if the communication is not, even if the communication is perfect, you'll still have like, you know, uh, Bro. yo, the, the, even last night in Haiti, there was mayhem. I mean, people were, were, were accusing a Belgium lady staying 20 meters from her. And, you know, <laughs> like, yo, you know, you know how we, uh, the drama, the drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People just, yeah. Like Lagos, man. Lagos is, is one of those places where um, there's a lot of, like, a lot of people, a lot of illiterate people as well. Mm-hmm. Like people who are, like, just pretty low on the, on the when it comes to to behaving properly and you know following instructions and all the kind of stuff you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so i'm also worried that you know once shit pops up there man it's a it's a wrap because first of all the health the healthcare system is the, shit the, yeah the health is it, shit man. yeah people don't listen to shit there's all kinds of like miscommunication about you get like the, like the it's just the worst possible place for shit to pop up. So I'm really hoping that they get it together and like limit the... I mean, you know, the, the, the thing to do is to be either you're drastic about it, but drastic in a way, in an intelligent way when you don't create that much panic. Either you do it like Macron did it in kind of a step-by-step way, but very quick. Yeah. Still, you know, it was step by step, but in a week, everything was, was goes down. So yeah. no, no really panic like that. Or you could, you know, you just let do it like China. I mean, China was drastic. China was drastic when they realized uh, as soon as they realized what was happening. But I'm t- t- thinking about the countries that sees what happened in China and Italy yeah. and this and still have their borders wide open. All the all the yeah. planes coming in and out and still have, you know, the city, the life rolling just as usual. Just as like just asking people to wash their hands is not enough right now. Yeah, it's definitely not enough because if if you hear, just know that if you hear that when people have it, you know that ten have it. Yeah, that's how it goes. 
So yeah. when you hear the number, you can do a, you can multiply. Just to, yeah. to know to know the the real number, you need to multiply. So yeah. that's how if, it is. If you hear that, if you hear that one, that one person has it, just know that ten people have it. Yeah, it's not yeah. the it's not the, the the normal rate of transmission. The rate of transmission is uh, here in France is about two two people. Like one person will transmit it to two or three people. Yeah. But yeah. an extension, you know, the extension, it goes fast. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but still, there are a lot of people who don't get symptoms and there's a lot of people who just don't get, um, you know, their life are not threatened at all by it. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think about what's going on in Italy, though? Italy was, was really bad. Italy was, was really uh, crazy for a minute. Italy is still crazy. Italy is still, still crazy. crazy yeah. Yeah. Italy has m more death than China. Whoa! Italy has Whoa. more death toll than China since yesterday, since last night. Italy, is, wow. uh, Italy is going to really, uh, you know, the the crisis is real bad there. You know, uh, the the countries where it's real bad, I would say Italy and uh, Iran and South Korea. You know, the, those are the the worst. You would say. Um, But yeah. um, the, one of the, I, I would say, I, I'm still waiting to see, and, and you know, I, I hear Burkina Faso got, got a lot of cases these last days, you know. Mm. Um, it's, it's just going to go on and on. To, but like I said, the, the best thing to do is to lock down. The, the country that is really going to get crazy is the United States. Oh yeah, I've been. I was supposed to say that United States is going to be wild because uh, they, they have they, such bad leadership. They, yeah, they don't give a for for now. <laughs> the, the, their president, don't, bad leadership. That's a <laughs> that's a nice way Actually, to put it. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice <laughs> that leadership this guy was saying I guess I think two, f f four days ago five days ago we're gonna be alright we, we know we have the best doctors Everything yeah. be, everything's gonna be alright you know it comes and it goes it comes and it goes you Bro. know motherfuckers be buying guns and stuff you know <laughs> Bro, you, you know what uh I, I what I, I do do I, I respect the NBA for what they did. They were the first like yeah. sports league to 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 like cancel their 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 plans and everything because um, they, they they didn't even wait for the government to tell them. You know that thing like most companies and most places are waiting for the government to tell them what to do. But the NBA was like, you know what, we're gonna like get ahead of this stuff. Wow. They know how much you, you, you know they, they play a shovel around the city, around the country a lot. Yeah, 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 and they know they know what's up. Yeah, they know what's up. I mean, most of the sports followed them, you know, pretty pretty fast. But they know they know yeah. what's up. They know that it's gonna it's gonna take a a bunch of tweets, a bunch of reunions, a bunch of things for for stuff to happen. So, from one yeah. case, you know. And he was the first case was French too, so there wasn't even yeah. no doubt about what's happening. It's like okay, it's there. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. I mean, you like I said, stay home, stay home. I think the best thing about this virus is that it's now like it's one of those things that you know how they say like a but a crisis doesn't change you; it shows who you really are. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what this is really doing to the world now. Like we're, we're beginning to see firsthand what everyone is made of. We're, we're seeing what different countries are made of. We're seeing what different leaders, um, different leaders and organizations are made of. We're seeing what people, individuals, like the world, the population itself, like the human race, what we're made of in terms of, you know, what are we willing to do to to make this go away, or like how are we reacting to the situations? You're seeing like like tissue paper, like the way people just rushed off and like. Like that just shows us what the hell, like, the average human being is about. You know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. Yep. And now we're we're seeing it for the first time, and I'm like, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. It's like now. It's like, what if what happens when like things like climate change mm, mm. start to come into play? 
I mean, so it's already come, powerful. came to play. You see how China, the map of China that was like, you know, clear out of pollution. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a yeah. map that showed how, how, how the pollution, which was one of the, that was a huge issue in China, you know. This, you know, mm-hmm. not, not, not to be talking about, you know, the, the, the dead or, or, or whatever, which is, which is very sad. But yeah, the, the, the mm-hmm. climate change, you know, it's like a, people, people are saying it's a clapback, you know. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Climate change is, the, climate is telling us, you know, y'all need to slow the fuck down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you said, the birds are like you're hearing the birds yeah. for the first time. I mean, like that's such a detail that blew my mind. Daytime, it's been yeah, daytime, you know, on a Friday, and on a Friday, it's noon, Friday noon, and I'm hearing like the little birds chirping, like you know, it's spring and life is beautiful, you know. <laughs> Bruh. But I can't, so, I can't so, go so, out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't go out. Nah. You can't go out. They have um, a hundred and thirty euros fine for for the for the issue. For anyone who's for anyone who's outside outside working without the authorization. I mean, you can do an authorization for you can you can say that you're going to somewhere, but you know you, you, you're still cops, you know. So if they want to fuck with you, yeah. they fuck with you. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So yeah, man. I mean, I'm just like monitoring things and just seeing like, you know, um, how the the world is um, reacting. And by the time all the and by the time all of this, you know, passes, right? Mm. We're gonna now like take stock of those who were like on the right side of history, and those who are on the wrong side of history. We're gonna like start to like probably make. Um, laws and like prepare for the the worst things coming in the future because like I said, coronavirus is, is tiny compared to like 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 the climate change problems that are coming. You know, with yes. regards to flooding and you know locusts and all these other problems that you can't just wash your hands off. You get what I'm yes. saying? You can't just like wear a mask and stay at home. Like shit gets real yep. when Mother Nature decides, decides to act. Yep, and that's really what I'm um I'm worried about. And it, I think like. Like coronavirus is helping us to like seeing like you prepare yourself. Like this is just tiny. Like this is just for you to you guys to sit up <laughs> and like know what's important. Yeah. And take care of who you gotta take care of and just because if not, when the real shit comes, we are just gonna see some shit. Yeah, you know, the 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 fact that it's a, it's a health crisis, it's a major health crisis crisis i think it shows yeah. most of the countries uh how the health department uh should not be let down you know well, should not be yeah. uh considered like a, a second thing you know because uh, because you, you can like you can beef up security beef up the army but yeah, when you when you get some something like that, you know, in your hospitals, you just like in France, you know, the, it's been it's been years that you know the, the the people working at the hospitals are less and less and less, and now you're like you know saying, oh, we we have to rely on our hospitals when they have you know less people than they had before, and there's a crisis now. So yeah. it, it raises questions of really public health because pri- private. <laughs> Private uh, health cannot properly deal with a crisis like that unless yeah. everybody comes and sit down at a table, which they never did before, and you get all kinds of mm-hmm. people saying, telling. But you need uh, you need a, a public health, you know, plan and public health yeah. structure that is strong enough to to respond to to those crises because you know one of the things also in Italy is, is that their public health is not that you know it's it's still good compared to the world but you know it's so so yeah it still has flaws well you see the death toll is not a uh, stranger to to that you're yeah. talking about yeah. a major european country uh, like that, you know. So yeah. in your head, you're like, okay, this is a 
I mean, I know because I'm, I'm, I'm always, you know, interested in this country and Italy and, you know, I have Italian mm. friends. So I know the countries like, it's like, a, it's not a third world country, but in Europe, it's one of those, you know, it, it has stuff, but at the same time, there's a parts, parts where you go there and you're like, okay, I'm in, I'm in the, you know, I'm in Lagos kind of, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm in, yeah. I'm in, am I in Port au Prince right now? Or what's up? <laughs> and and yeah. you know, it's kind of a country like that. So when you have a crisis, you know, and and it hit the north, which is supposed to be the rich part of Italy, but still, very mm. huge death toll, very huge death toll. Yeah, you know, have having more death than China compared to the population, but you know. China got drastic. They went there, they shut the city down, they built a hospital in 10 days, you know, cleaned you know, up the city is, and, yo. You know what China showed us? China showed us, like, the benefits of an an authoritative, an, an, an autocratic government. You know I mean? Yeah. Like, because, yeah. They have, because, they have, because they don't have, like, democracy, they can, like, make decisions really fast and, like, get people to, like, you know, at her really fast. Like, there's no like weird things like, oh, human rights or your personal rights. Like, stay at home or you're gonna like, you get what I'm saying? You're gonna get in trouble. You get that kind of thing. Yeah. But in places like America and the states where like there's like there's parties, there's all kinds of interests, and like no one person can like make any decision at, at one time. It shows how slow things can be. Well, especially uh, the leader is now a bad leader. Yeah, I mean, it's more attached to that. I understand what you're saying because let's say, for example, Macron. Like I said, mm. he could have done things in a drastic way, in a very, uh, uh, you know, fast way. But first of yeah. all, the 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 thing was not as huge as in China. Remember, China got caught late. You know. Just started yeah. in December, and then, like, it, there's some people say it's even started in in October, uh, you know. So, mm. so, so, by the time they figured it out, they they took the decisions, and yeah, here they took the decisions also. But he made he, he he's in a democracy here, but he made it a way like okay, there's a there's an emergency, so right now we're going mm. to chill on the democratic time and the democratic mm. stuff. You can talk, mm -hmm. you can talk, you can talk, but uh, for the time of the crisis, we can take yeah. the decisions without asking anybody for it. Yeah. So there's yeah. a way without uh, an, an autocratic state. I understand what you're saying, but mm. it, there's still a way. And as for the United States, there are many, like there's the leadership, there's the health system that is horrible, like inexistent. Mm -hmm. The public mm -hmm. health system is like o o Obama built it kind of and mm -hmm. Trump destroyed it. Yeah. And now he's talking about, you know, he's, he's calling for, for agencies that he closed down, like research, like the research agencies yeah. on viruses. Like, like, okay, yeah. now we need them, but hey, remember, you shut them down two years ago and closed them for good. Oh, damn. Yeah. So you have a lot of different uh, uh, impacts. And, you know, when you look at, you know, even United States, you have a lot of people that are, that are very qualified, but you have a huge, you have a huge, uh, like, I wouldn't say illiterate, but it's, in another way, it's like, uh, you know, blind. Yeah, yeah blind. You know, that's you know to people that are... You know what? This is going to hurt Trump's campaign for re-election. This, like, this has, like, shown the American people, like, in, in real time, what Trump is made of. Yeah, and, and at the same time, like my wife was saying, this will guarantee Macron's re-election. Oh yeah, yeah! It will guarantee his re-election. The way he handled it the will. crisis, but like I yeah. said, we don't know about no election right now. 
Yeah, we don't know about it yet. I mean, <laughs> China ch- ch- right? China is the hope because they they are now kind of over it. So yeah. everybody knows, you know, we're not like following a, you know, a bad, like an example of the worst case scenario where we know now yeah. kind of the solution. So yeah. if we apply it, yeah. normally we should be all right this time. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, hey. it, our, our countries are going to suffer a lot from that. I just hope that people just learn from what's happening now. That's you know, it. you have to look at what happened yesterday there. You don't have to look very far in history now. You just have to look what they yeah. did a few days ago. Just do it. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about closing the borders for a week in Haiti, for a week, and there's still planes mm-hmm. coming in and out. Like, they... I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't know a huge country like Nigeria how you're going to handle it. A what are country. What are the news of of like are there measures that has been taken? Well, um, I know it's federal. So to be honest, to be honest, to be honest, they just um, closed the borders. If I yeah, the border is closing tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, and you know why? You know why that 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 that, that is, you know why it took so long? Mm. It took so long because the president was waiting for his daughter to fly back to the country. So she came in last night. Okay. Can you imagine? Yeah. Okay. So that was our that was our situation. So like <laughs> do, you, do you see do you see this? Yeah. I mean. So so for like two weeks or so. so well, what was she doing? Just, I don't know. She was in in school or whatever. I don't know what. I don't know she what was it was. In Dubai, but she was in the UK. Actually, oh, UK. she came from the UK. Oh shit! The so UK. she probably came yeah, with it. The hotbed. <laughs> Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So, and and like, so did everyone else who was on that flight. Mm, you get? Mm, mm. Wow. Yeah, and then there there have been some announcements like on on the on Twitter saying like. Uh, if you know anyone who's been on so and so flights, please tell them to come. Find someone who was who had the disease on the. You okay, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're looking for people. Are you Nigerians? I mean, let me tell some some about Nigerians. Man, Nigerians are quite selfish when it comes to their shit. Mm, mm, mm. No Nigerian who was on that flight is going to just be like, oh yeah, let me go back or let me self isolate. No, 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 no. They're gonna they're gonna ride to the wheels <laughs> fall off. No, wait. They're gonna. They're gonna yeah. wait. No, they're, they're gonna go about their business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like go out, do things, go to church, go to weddings, go to whatever. You know, go do. Business That's what the the a guy deal. said, and an, an Italian guy said. He said, "Yo, I was sick, and I still did all the stuff that I did. I went. He did Milan to." Turin back and forth three times, met with a bunch of people, and he's like, "Yeah, my company this, my company that." I just felt sick, but I didn't know. Like I was just, you know, I, I he, you know, it's one of those things. You hear something's happening, and something might happen, but you know, you're in mm. your own reality, and you're like, "Yo, nah, this uh, that's that's even another reason why." Uh, public health uh, measures are important. You know, you you don't even need a, a you know autocratic state. You just need like a real the real government to say, "Yo, stop what you're doing." You know, mm-hmm. and of course sometimes you won't listen, and you know, but yeah, that's and the guy was like regretting, and he's like, "If I knew, I would I wouldn't I, w- I would have stopped." I, and and I regret right now. I lost my dad because of that, and I'm I'm in the hospital oh. for two weeks. And and he was like, "Yo, I just went on by my business, and now I, I I'm saying he was saying this message, be like, "Yo, if you feel sick, just stay home and don't move, man." Yeah. Well, you can bet that very few Nigerians are gonna take that message. They're gonna. This is natural selection, right? <laughs> There's a pretty evil twist to it because, like, when you say natural selection, what happens is that young people are very few to 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 die because of that virus. But the way it's transmitted 
it's most likely to be transmitted to someone you you love or you know some old person you cherish or you or you care for because you yeah. need to stay close and and get really you know touching the person or you know being close with the person for a lot of time so it it mm-hmm. will it will it will be in a more evil way hitting the person you love and and yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. that's shit. the movie right <laughs> bro me 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 god help us me god help us my nigga young gods me god help us <laughs> Young, that's it, bro. That's it. Yeah, we, 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 at least, while, while you're self isolating, the young god is always there to, you know, keep you company. Yeah, listen to the podcast. And I'm, I'm trying and, to, know, to find creative stuff to do. Like I'm doing these videos, uh, obviously for my platform in Haiti, and uh, I'm yeah. trying to find a, a new thing to do because a lot of people are staying at home on their cell phone and. You, there's there's a it's a moment to feed to to create content and to feed feed the masses while they're sitting down. Mm. You know what I was thinking mm. about? Drug dealers and people who like do drugs. <laughs> How are they gonna cope? <laughs> How are they gonna cope? I, I thought about that. I thought about that at the <laughs> at the beginning of the of the week, like. Literally, when Macron had his announcement, the next morning, like I was like waking up, and my wife woke, woke me up, and the first thing she told me is like, "Yo, you should, you should, you should buy weed." And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "What? Yeah. What, what, what? What's happening?" So I was like, "Yeah, man, country's gonna gonna lock down. I know in a few days you're gonna start crying and and." <laughs> Cause that's no, so we'll get your shit together. Uh, I, 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 I I don't know, man. You know, I I guess a lot a lot of them are gonna have to take a chill pill. I'm talking about you know regular drugs. I don't know really how the how the the I, myself no having seen kind of from afar how how crackheads are. I'm pretty sure their world is turning just the way uh, it's turning usually, you know, because, <laughs> you know, they, they're, yeah. they're, on a, they're on a everyday fight, but I, I don't know. I mean, people, people everybody's I'm taking just, a chill pill, yeah. man, but, you know, these... these like, like, think of this, right? You know how people, people, like, rushed and, like, finished all the toilet paper and, like, just, uh, but, like, just bulk bought stuff? Yeah. So imagine... You're 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 a drug addict, and you usually like buy five hundred dollars worth of drugs. But because of the lockdown and the isolation, you gotta go buy like ten thousand dollars worth because you don't know how long. You yeah. Have. And then because you buy too much, it means you're gonna do too much. Maybe. And because you do too much, you might you might OD <laughs> and you might die. Yeah. I mean, I I I, I don't know about that. That's. I mean, if if you're gonna OD now, I'm pretty sure you are gonna OD anyway. But uh, yeah. I, I'm not. Sure. I think uh, people might might have. And the price will yeah, go up. I think some. I, I haven't Crazy. asked around, but I think people just beginning of this week. I think people made their shopping and all types of shoppings. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the the re up is slow because borders are closed uh, movements are, are closed so i'm thinking uh now by the end of this week by sunday i'm thinking most of the stocks will be very low uh, everything's yeah. everything's shut down i mean if you if you go right now to i mean if 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 you're a drug dealer and you, you decide to do a transaction right now you're just taking a mm. huge risk because cops yeah. are, are, you know, blocking people. I mean, you are, you, I'm sure you'll have this crazy guy who will say, okay, everything's good now. Let me just go. And, but I'm thinking everything will, will slow down by the end of this week. You know, the stocks are going to be pretty empty. You know, I don't know. The, guy, the yeah. people I talked to in my neighborhood, they were like, you know, it's, uh, we don't know what's coming, you know. Just they they re up, but I don't know if they re up for a month or they re up for a week. I I don't know. 
Mm. How much do you have? How much weed do you have? Not a lot, but enough to keep me. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm with I'm with the fam, so I don't really smoke a lot. You know, just half a, half a joint oh, okay. every night, and and oh, I'm good. You know, great. so it it couldn't take me to to next week, end of next week, but oh, no. Does Elsa smoke? No, she don't. No, she's still breastfeeding. I mean, she she take a little puff from oh, yeah, time yeah, to yeah. time, but she's breastfeeding now. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, that means there's, there's enough for you then. There's enough for you. Hmm? <laughs> there's enough for you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Nah, she yeah. don't smoke like that. Okay. Nah. Okay, my brother. Thanks. Thanks for for making the time. This is uh, I learned a lot. It's always a um, pleasure, my brother. Yeah. Stay safe, yes, man. That, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think I think it's gonna be all right. You know, We're just trying to to get used to it and to find our ways. Think I think we're lucky to have a a cool flat. We have everybody can can be in their space if needed, and we still spend yeah. some good times together. Uh, yeah. hel- we're healthy and our people is okay so now we just have to let let time do his work and the, the doctors you know just just the doctors let them do their work and uh, and definitely I yeah. wish uh, I wish Nigeria uh, goes a little bit more faster better you guys know yeah. know how to turn up so it's time to turn down the same way yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's time to turn down the same way and just check out your bill. And there's, you know, you can always find a lot of advantages to it. You know, you can save money. You can stay at home and mm-hmm. chill and create. You can spend time with the people you like. You can spend time Think about your life. resting, curing yourself and whatever. You know, mm-hmm. if you're not impacted by it and just, you know, take care of yourself and uh, prepare yeah. for for what's next because we'll have some everybody will have some catching up to do so you know yeah get rested and I'm stay a, indoors well said well said everybody this is Karim Karim mm-hmm. Daniel from Paris yep <laughs> Parisian <Thanks for> <laughs> <laughs> Parisian my man yes. oh yeah oh um, um, by the way yeah. by the way my mm. regards to Elsa tell her Rodney says hi tell her that uh uh, I'm thinking of her and the baby. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes, yes. She, yeah. she was. She's right there. She's doing the homeworking, and at the same time, she's doing the homeschooling for my daughter, mm. for mm. my eldest daughter. So, wow. she's. Uh, she, she. I'm sure she's gonna say hi back. Okay. Take All care, right. my man. All right. Be safe.